Hi, welcome to Infused Eats. This is Matt, your cannabis-infused host, and today we're making cannabis-infused lemon lime bars. Now let's get started. Here's what you need. You need a half a cup of white sugar, one teaspoon of zest of either lemons or limes or both, one cup of can of butter that's softened, two cups of all-purpose flour, And for the filling, you need two lemons juiced or one lime juiced, or we'll talk about the combination of citrus there. You need four eggs, one and a half cups of white sugar, and one quarter cup of all-purpose flour. The first step is going to be to make can of butter. Today we're using can of butter that we made with the Mighty Fast Herbal Infuser, which is super simple to use. But you could use can of butter that you make any way you want. I'll put some links at the description to our can of butter playlist so that you can find a way to make can of butter that suits you. Or you can use pre-bought can of butter. But if you're using the Mighty Fast Herbal Infuser, you just combine your cannabis and your butter in the machine, select your cycle, and 45 minutes to an hour and a half later, your can of butter is ready. So we're going to go ahead and proceed to the next step. Assuming that you've already made your can of butter and we're going to make the crust. I've added my sugar for the crust and now I'm zesting some lemon and some lime into the sugar. And this is my little twist on the traditional lemon bars to give you that zing in the crust that's going to help us when we add all the cannabis into it. So I massaged that citrus into the sugar and got it to where it's a little bit moist and the oils were coming out. Then I added in my flour and combined the flour and the sugar and the zest together. Okay, and this recipe calls for one full cup of can of butter, which is a lot of can of butter. These things can be really strong depending on how strong you make your can of butter. So just fair warning there, these are a very potent recipe. And then you're gonna combine that into sort of a wet, sticky batter. And it'll stiffen up after a minute when it cools off a little bit more too. And there you go, you spread that into the bottom of a greased baking pan. And you put that in the oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes or until it's brown and bubbling on top. And while that's cooking, you can go ahead and make the filling. What you're going to do now is go ahead and juice your lemons and limes. And it's up to you. You can use all lemons. You can use all limes. I like to use a combination of both. And cannabis already has a limonene terpene in it, which is going to be incorporated into these flavors there. So using fresh citrus is key to keeping those terpenes and the flavor alive there. So make sure you use fresh lemons and limes. And then we're proceeding on making the rest of the batter. I've combined my flour, my sugar, my four eggs, and my fresh lemon juice and lime juice. I'm going to whisk that together. It's going to turn a nice, vibrant yellow color. So we'll go ahead and pour that into our crust. Now our crust is out of the oven. It's cooled off for a few minutes. And then we're going to whisk that together, make sure it's all incorporated, and pour it right over the top of the crust. And it tastes great. And this is going back into that oven. It's still at 375 degrees. We're going to cook that about 20 minutes. After about 20 minutes, you're going to take it out of the oven. You'll see that the top is starting to brown around the edges and it's fully solidified all the way across. And you could serve this just the way it is. It's not going to change the flavor much, but a lot of people like to dust this with powdered sugar on top, which is optional, but you can do that as well as you like before you slice it. And there you go. Uh, This is fully cooled off now. It's ready to slice and serve. I cut it into 12 slices. You could cut it into 18 or 24 easily. It's still very, very strong. They look delicious, but the true test is in how they taste. This again goes back to one of my favorite recipes. The citrus that's in the crust really kind of helps incorporate that cannabis flavor and sort of layers it into it. Especially if you use a cannabis that has a lot of citrus in it, I'd recommend that for sure. Again, I'd like to thank the guys at Mighty Fast Herbal Infuser. They're a sponsor of Rough House Studios. You can save money with the code ROUGHHOUSE on anything you buy at theherbalinfuser.com, which includes the Mighty Fast Herbal Infuser machine that we use today for this recipe. So thanks again to those guys for sponsoring this, and we do really highly recommend them. I hope you enjoyed this recipe on how to make lemon lime bars. If you did, please hit the like button. Also, please subscribe to Rough House Studios for even more cannabis culture videos made just for you. This is Matt from Rough House Studios. Thank you for watching.